Hello, my name is Rebecca Patterson. Welcome to this talk entitled Building Multilingual Comparable Corpora. Today I'm presenting on behalf of myself, Abby Hantgen, and Christiane Chenard. All three of us will be available for the question and answer time during the conference. This slide gives an overview of the content I'll be covering today. The discussion, the workflows, and the technology are all being discussed within the Discourse Reporting and African Storytelling Project. This is an ERC funded project um, based at Lacan, a CNRS lab in near Paris, France. We're dealing with 15 core languages concentrated in West Africa from uh, diverse language families. A lot of them are Niger Congo, but they're from various branches like Mande, Atlantic, Dogon, Gur. Within Benue Congo, we have Bantoid languages as well as Kanji languages um, and even Adamawa. Outside of Niger Congo, um, we have some Afri we have at least one Afroasiatic Chadic language. You'll notice on the map here that there are three points that are decidedly outside of West Africa. We've brought in two Turkic languages and one Tungusic languages that happen to be um, worked on by members of our team who also work on West African languages. And we brought those in in order to look for potential typologically robust discourse reporting phenomena. I'll define discourse reporting in just one minute. In this project, we're, um, there are more than 20 people. Some team members work full time on the project and others are collaborators who are contributing data. By discourse reporting, we follow the definition of Spronk and Nicotina 2019, where they discuss um, discourse reporting as the dedicated, looking at the dedicated linguistic devices for signaling the representation of an utterance or even the representation of a thought or of volition. And that's as spoken by some other speaker within a narration or the current speaker at a time different from the current speech moment. Each language has culture specific narrative genres. Our corpora are built within Elan Corpa. At the time of recording, our um, entire um, collection of data include almost 86,000 words across all languages. Additional data will continue to be added through January 2023 as more recordings are processed. We use a specially designed template within Elan Corpa for annotating speech reports. Within this template, we have four dedicated tiers for things like identifying clauses that introduce speech and the content of reports, as well as keeping, keeping track of how speakers and listeners are identified within reported speech, specifically when pronouns are used within a report. Here we mean something like the difference between, he said, I love Zoom meetings and he said that he loved Zoom meetings. Most files that we have um, also include accompanying aud audio and video. And these files are interlinearized and annotated within the project template. So Elan Corpa is a modified version of Elan developed by Christian Chenard initially to allow for interlinearizations within the Elan framework. Um, today, the MPI Elan um, does also allows interlinearizations, but it wasn't um, available previously. Elan Corpa also has a robust um, searches built in that we so we can search on any tier and any value from any tier across our files. So in box one here, you can see the interlinearization tab within Elan Corpa, and we'll see a demonstration of how that works in just a moment. We can also use Elan Corpa for complex searches within and across languages using any criteria from the template. Box two shows the interface for complex searches um, using our template. And you can make complex searches based on any tier. With this, we can observe and generalize across files and across text. So these files can be within the same language, that is from one Elan file to the next within the same language. I'm looking for general patterns specific to, a spe to one language, but we can also use it to go across languages. The sample image in number three is a calculation across our files of the kinds of words that occur in discourse reports. 
the chart in green indicates um, the part of speech uh, found in reports across all files for the three languages of Russia within the corpus. And the blue indicates the parts of speech for all files for the languages of Ivory Coast. This was made uh, for a study on the prevalence of interjections interjections within speech reports with the idea that there may be some difference between the geographic regions. I offer this just as a sample of what the search can provide. This video is a demonstration by Christian Chenard of the interlinearization available in Olan Corpa. You can import a lexicon from toolbox or you can develop a lexicon internally. And from that lexicon, you can gloss words and morphemes. You can draw directly on items that are already in the lexicon um, by double clicking as was just demonstrated. For items that are not already in the lexicon, you can add them um, by right clicking and using an insert menu. So Elan pulls the information Elan Corpus Interlinearizer pulls information from the Elan tier and then allows you to create a new entry in your lexicon. And the next time you encounter that word, it'll be a faster process. In the next slide, we'll see how Elan Corpus fits into our larger workflow. Our general project workflow involves many team members collecting data, time aligning the speech segments, and then providing transcription and translation for those then parsing and glossing each transcription, then annotating for things relevant to speech report. All of that is compiled into a shared set of files. From time alignment to annotation, all of this can be done within Elan Corpo. However, several team members join the project with other software already in use for annotation, parsing, and glossing. Across the project, we have people who use Elan Corpa alone for the entire process, but we also have people who join the team and we're already using tools like Saymor, Toolbox, and Flex. The Corpus will eventually be available online um, in the Saconian Corpus platform built in Python, which makes use of Elasticsearch. Um, related to these technologies and how they work together, we'll be happy to answer any questions about this in the Q&A. For now, let's take a look at some of the workflows. So here are some examples of user-defined workflows. Keep in mind that all data ends up in Elan Corpa. Many things are possible. The main point here is that data can come from very diverse sources. We've even incorporated handwritten data, which we typed into the template in Elan Corpa. Some team members um, who use Elan Corpa for the entire process include those working on Bashkir and Chuvash, the two Turkic languages which are spoken in Bashkiria, which is part of the Russian Federation. Um, the data for Juan is in Toolbox, and from Toolbox, it goes into Elan via Elan Tools, which is a special tool that was developed for converting files into our project template, developed by Christian Chenard. Um, some um, language projects, including Jola Egima, a Niger Congo language, a Niger Congo Atlantic language from Senegal, and Itma'in, a Benue Congo Kanji language from Nigeria, use a workflow that involves Elan to Flex and then Flex back to Elan via Elan tools. Um, the Gizeh um, Afroasiatic Chadic language of Cameroon, um, that data is processed from Seymour into Elan, then to Flex then back to Elan Corpa via Elan tools. Um, one thing just to mention that if you're choosing a, um, a workflow and a set of software, uh, the software you want to use, um, pay keep in mind that some of the software is platform specific. So Saymor and Flex only work on, Saymor only works on Windows. Flex only works on Windows and Linux. Elan and Elan Corpa and Elan tools work on um, their cross platform. So the final workflow I'll mention is the one we're going to demonstrate in the rest of today's talk. That is from Saymor into Flex and then into Elan Corpa via Elan Tools. And that's the workflow currently being used for the Za Niger Congo Adamawa language of Nigeria. So next we'll show the workflow um, for Saymor, Saymor through Flex and then into Elan Corpa. And we'll hear Abby Hantgen presenting the workflow and showing us a bit of 
um, the process. Beginning the workflow with Say More, I'm going to assume some familiarity with this program. Here you can see that I have set up a project with some basic information, the most important of which is the languages that will be used for transcription and translation. From their project page, we can go to the Sessions tab, where you can provide further information, as well as add an audio file. Once an audio file is added to the session, the Start Annotating window will pop up, in which we will use the Auto Segmenter and click Get Started. This creates a segmented audio file that is ready for transcription and translation. Samba. Samba, Bakae, Bubu, Nesu, Samba. As you can see, clicking on a segment automatically plays it continuously unless you change this in the settings. Finally, we're going to export this file to a flex text format. Here you can see that the transcription and translation languages are already added. These are going to be crucial for Flex to interpret this text. Make sure you export it to a place where you can find it easily. After interlinearization is complete, simply export the file in the same format as a Flex text. Once you have segmented, transcribed, and translated your audio file and exported it from Say More to the Flex text format, you can import it into Flex for interior linearization. Here I've already prepared the text that we already transcribed and translated, but detailed help manuals are included in the Flex downloads. Elan Tools is a program developed by Kristen Chenard that is a set of scripts in Python that I'm currently running using PyCharm. Once it's running, we can simply go to File, Open File, and then if we select the drop-down menu here, we can access our Flex files. And by clicking on Command, Flex Talon, and I'm going to add the discourse reporting tiers that are necessary to annotate files for our project, convert to Elon. And you can see that it's also adjusting my time alignments. The final step now is to go to the folder that was created by Elon Tools and open the newly created Elon converted file with Elon Corpora. Here we can see the file that we transcribed, interlinearized, and translated is now in a Lan Corpora format along with our discourse reporting tiers. Additionally, you can add the audio and the video to the Elan file. So that was a demonstration of our process for one of our workflows and for working with our files and getting data from various sources um, through Elan tools and then into Elan Corpora. We also have plans to make these comparable corpora available in a web interface. So the speech reporting corpus or corpora discourse reporting and storytelling will be available eventually um, and functional um, for all the languages. Right now it is live. The website is um, shown there. Um, there's a, a live demonstration of this, but it does not contain all of the languages and the media files are not uh, not yet synced, um, but you can run searches on the text that's been uploaded from the Elan Corpa files. This was uh, is being built on the Tsakonian Corpus platform called Scorpa. It's created by Timofey Arkangelski, and it's um, the Scorpa platform, and all the code is available on bitbucket.org. Um, and eventually, this will be available for all the languages and um, it, it may be um, updated from time to time as additional data becomes available. So thank you for listening to our presentation today as we talk about and look at our workflows. 
We look forward to your questions and comments during the Q&A, which is scheduled for Thursday, March 4th in Zoom Room 3. Um, that's paper Q&A 3.4 on the final schedule, and that's scheduled for 9.45 p.m. Hawaii time. Thank you.